Ever wondered if you hold the secret to slaying your inner demon? What if I told you there's a verse they pray you'll never learn? Today, we're embarking on a transformative journey that'll redefine how you face spiritual battle. Stick with us till the very end, where we reveal a revelation that'll change the game. We're not just fighting against evil, we're fighting a winning battle from the winning side. Trust me, you won't want to miss this key principle that transforms your battles into triumphant victories. Let's slay those demons together. Hey Grafters, welcome back to Grafters Tales. Today we're delving into the realm of spiritual warfare and the incredible journey of overcoming demons. We are going to unlock the power within as we unveil the hidden verse that even demons fear. In this life, spiritual defense is our armor, and certain Bible verses hold the key. Join me on this transformative journey where motivation meets the divine and we learn to conquer our inner battles. Stay tuned as we embark on a path of inspiration and spiritual triumph. As we plunge into the unseen battles, it's crucial to recognize the existence of spiritual warfare weaving through the fabric of our lives. In 1 John 4:4 we discover a profound truth. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. This verse serves as a beacon, radiating empowerment in the face of demonic challenges. Picture it, a force within you mightier than any external darkness. It's a call to arms, awakening the warrior within. This isn't just a battle. It's a revelation of your inherent strength. As we confront the unseen, remember that the power residing within you surpasses any external force. The struggles we face are real, but so is the reservoir of courage and resilience deep within our spirits. The journey of spiritual warfare is about recognizing and harnessing this power. Watch as we continue to unveil the verses that fuel our spiritual defense and propel us toward victory. We're strapping on our spiritual armor. In James 4, 7, our path is lit with wisdom. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Imagine this verse not just as words, but as a dynamic force, a call to arms in the cosmic battle of good versus evil. Submitting to God is not surrender, it's empowerment. When we align ourselves with the divine, we become impervious to the whispers of darkness. Picture it as wearing an invisible armor, a shield against the onslaught of negativity. Let me share a personal triumph. Me embracing this principle became my anchor during spiritual storms. By submitting to God and resisting the devil, I discovered an unyielding strength within me. Now, imagine applying this in your own life. Visualize the victories, big and small, as you stand resilient against spiritual attacks. Let's forge ahead together, armed with the knowledge that submission is strength and resistance is triumph. On this journey of empowerment, we discover that the spiritual armor we wear isn't just a shield, it's a symbol of our unwavering courage. Now let's learn about transforming your mind. In Romans 8 and 5 to 6, we uncover a profound insight. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the spirit set their minds on the things of the spirit. This scripture unveils the power of mindset in spiritual warfare. Picture your mind as the battlefield where victory is determined, and the key lies in aligning it with spiritual values. Cultivating a mindset attuned to the spirit becomes our stronghold against demonic influences. It's not just about what we think, it's about the essence of our thoughts. As we reshape our mental landscape, we build an impervious fortress against negativity. This is a transformative journey of renewing our mind. Together, let's unravel the incredible potential within, learning to wield our thoughts as weapons of spiritual strength. This is more than a mental makeover. It's a revolutionary shift toward a mindset that not only resists, but triumphs over the forces that seek to derail us. The authority in the name Jesus is a powerful thing. Ever heard of the seven sons of Sceva? We can see in Acts 19, 13 to 16, they tried casting out demons and the response was mind blowing. The demons actually retorted, Jesus I know and Paul I know, but who are you? It's a wake up call, reminding us that there's unmatched power in the name of Jesus. Imagine tapping into a power so potent that even demons recognize it. It's more than a mere word. It's a celestial force that commands even the darkest entities. Now, 
Let's dive into the significance of understanding this authority. Picture invoking the name of Jesus as unlocking a divine arsenal against the darkest force. It's not just a name, it's a celestial force that commands respect, even among demons. Imagine the transformative potential when we confidently wield the name of Jesus in our lives. This isn't just a tale. It's a living testament to the boundless authority believers possess. Today, we're not just recounting history. We're exploring a revelation that empowers us to stand unshaken in the face of adversity. It's not just about words. It's about recognizing the authority and triumph that come with it. Think about finding refuge before we kick off. Here's a challenge for you. Pause this video, take a moment and pray. Psalm 91, time to unlock the power of divine refuge together. Psalm 91.15 resonates like a symphony of protection. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. Picture it as a spiritual fortress, a shelter against the storms of life. Seeking refuge in God isn't just a strategy, it's a potent defense against demonic attacks. Now let's talk about the transformative impact of finding refuge in the divine. In moments of chaos, turning to God isn't a sign of weakness, it's a beacon of strength. Think of it as finding your anchor in the midst of life's storms. Today we're not just discussing verses, we're unlocking a sacred space of refuge, a place where strength and resilience are renewed, grafters. As we continue our journey towards spiritual victory, here's a game-changing truth in our spiritual journey. We're not just in the fight against evil, but we're fighting from the winning side. It's like being part of a team that's not only dominating, but has already secured the victory. As believers, our source of strength is unwavering. Our defense impenetrated. The fight against evil isn't a nail-biting competition. It's a declaration of our inherent triumph. Picture it, the battlefield of life and you standing tall, knowing that the victory has been secured this isn't wishful thinking, it's a profound reality. No matter the challenges you face, remember you're not fighting for victory. You're fighting from a position of victory. So gear up, grafters, because the fight against evil is not a daunting uphill battle. It's a victorious march forward. Remember the power and authority you possess over demonic forces through these sacred verses. Take a leap into understanding their profound meaning and apply them in your life's journey. This has been grafters tales where we believe in inspiring the grafter in you stay inspired stay motivated and keep grafting amen